So we're gonna be looking at Chip Walters material library for EV. So I'm just gonna go through some of these materials. Now this ship here was created on live stream on Sunday night. Once you've set everything up, I'm just gonna go add material, advanced dirty, and we can see what this material looks like. If we open up another tab, let's go into shader editor, and then here we can come in and start changing some of the colors. So I can come down into maybe a bit of a darker color. About there, that's a nice gray, and you can see how we've got all that grunge. If we do move in, it does, this one doesn't have, oh, it's got a little bit of edge wear on this one, which is pretty cool, which is. Now we can see we've got a pretty big library. A lot of these are the KidOps cutters, but we're looking at the CW section. So for instance, plastic plus paint, and we can give it a bit of a bump plastic. If we wanted to make this ship plastic, add material, and it gives us that very much, oh, it looks like a, <laughs> looks like a basketball. So let's go ahead, we'll change it to maybe a matte finish. Let's go add material. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I like that one. If we have a look at some of the other materials, I think there's about 200 materials. We can even give it a bit of a car paint. Uh, Ferrari red, go on. Oof, that looks nice. Now, one of my favorite ones is if we go into car paint, or sorry, change the materials, we go into advanced dirty and we select CW panel, add material. Look at that. Oh, just kind of like this paneling effect is so nice. I'm just gonna apply it to it, all these. This is probably one of my favorite materials out of the whole pack. It just looks gorgeous. You can see that we've got kind of a whole bunch of rubbers and we do have camo. Actually, let's go on. desert. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> got some nice concrete crack. Let's have a look. How does this one looking? That's not bad. Now the dirty one's really interesting. I was playing around with this, so if we go add material, we can see how the bottom section is dirty. Actually, let's invert it. Let's go dirty down, just because the lighting is there. From here, let's come down into the shader, and we can actually change how high the dirt is. So you can see if we just want the roof, so it kind of goes off the object of the model. And I'm gonna guess if I come into this, we're gonna see separate X, Y, Z somewhere. You there? Separate X, Y, Z. And so we're just getting the value of Z and that's our dirty layer. Um, I've got a tutorial on how to set this up, but the fact is, is it's just one group node. Whoops. <laughs> Amount of dirty it is. Let's bring it back down. And we can see just like that top section's all grungy. Let's do that for the rest of the ship. So that's, oh, it's looking gorgeous. Um, and we can go with that blue that we originally started with. I don't know about here-ish. Yeah, look at that, just totally different. I almost feel like if we expand this, let's increase this and we're gonna go into ambient occlusion. Oh, there it is at the top. Let's make sure we turn on ambient occlusion in here, beautiful. Let's go into a mix shader. Color can go into the factor. Let's maybe make the color a dark color. So color can go into here, put that in there and that in there. And what I was hoping, which looks like it hasn't really worked. Mm, what if I try this, ambient occlusion? No, you're a jerk. So let's get the principal BDSF. Uh, I'm gonna plug that one into the bottom. Let's go into maybe like a brownie color. And you can see I've actually got it inverted the wrong way. So brown should be on top. And now you can see kind of like where these pipes are sitting and so on and so forth. We've got that brownie color uh, as if it's build up. So that's looking pretty cool as well. Mm, let's check maybe one more material. What do we got here? We've got some grimy ones. Let's go, hey, let's go grimy green, add material. <sighs> oh, that is, that's not bad. Let's check one of the other colors, add material. They're just different colors. That's a really nice grime. I like that. Let's go, I feel like I could scale it. I still, I, 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 I prefer this one over here. But you can see that there is a pretty big library of a whole bunch of materials. Um, and these are specifically built for EV, which is more important. Ooh, that rubber's not, that's, that looks nice, the rubber one. Oof. let me just quickly update these. Now the really nice thing as well is, even though I'm clicking add material, we're not creating multiple instances of that material. There's only one material. So I find that something pretty handy. So check it out, link in the description.